leaders of genocide, homicide, filicide, femicide. Now, right? It sounds good, right? She she practices that in the mirror. I bet, I bet she practices that. Never that, never that, never that, never that. Like it's a like it's a like it's a rap she song. She got a little ditty with it, yeah. Right? Never that, never that, never that, never that. All right? Never that, never that, never that, never that. Hold on, let's and run that back. Me to you guys y'all all like oh she won't me and then when we now treating you like the leaders of genocide homicide filicide femicide oh wait what the leaders of what like the leaders of genocide homicide filicide femicide what the, the leaders of what the leaders of genocide homicide filicide femicide <laughs> come on <laughs> really y'all don't know this y'all in danger i'm a threat i'm a threat with your life Here, let me, I'm going, we're going, I got to, this shit made me want to flip a goddamn table, bro. This right here, this put me in the worst mood. From a distance, these trash bag bandits, these legacies of low achievement, these leaders of femicide, genocide, genocide mm. homicide, filicide, matricide, grass, every neg negative side there is, this is what these black men are a part of so i'm walking down there and i realize i feel nervous because i'm thinking okay i got on shorts and even though i got one foot in the grave and the other on a banana peel according because i didn't hit that wall oh i hit that wall years ago right of course she ain't lying so so she's saying he was born at the wall right so she's saying I'm uncomfortable. I'm so uncomfortable with black men that I'm nervous walking through the walking through the store. I'm so uncomfortable, right? And and I believe the majority of this is just her just trying to kind of prove a point or try to make try to uh, dramatize the situation. Right. You know, because she's not really afraid of anything or not afraid of anybody. Right. But that's the type of energy and the ang like that's the kind of internalization she's taking into this situation. And she's telling this story like like, again, like we're just a bunch of black men sitting around, you know, can't wait to to the next sister comes through so we could you like you see how crazy that sounds. If she was that afraid, why would you make a video making yourself a target online? Because if any of these black men you're afraid of see it, they're like, oh, that's the chick from that video. I got something for her. Why? If you're that afraid, like, especially think about it. If you're a guy in the street and you know there are people looking for you that you're trying to avoid, are you going to publicize? Yeah, I'm going to be on 2nd Ave at 12 noon. And I want yeah. everybody to see my face and I'm out there. Yeah. And I'm gonna, yeah, I got something to say. Why yeah. would you put yourself online if all these black men around you are some mass menace waiting in the bushes to jump? You, and, you know, and that's Everybody the thing. Go. She's that's the that's the that's the thing. She's actually more safe. She's yeah. more safe than she she's knows exactly. She's more safe than she's trying to let on. Here, I'm gonna let this look. This, I mean, according to uh, Kevin's sexuals. <laughs> well, anyway, um. I'm feeling nervous because I'm like, I know that they're unaliving four to five of us a day. And I'm thinking, God, please don't let. Again, unaliving four or five of us a day. Right. We just disproved that. Right. Right. It's, 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 it's actually like one and some change. And then a third of those is at the hands of another woman. And, and BG, whoever BG is in the comment section says something yeah. really important. He said 20 years psych. Psychiatric experience tells me she is not well, not a well woman. I can tell by her eyes. Fellas, Absolutely. start looking these women in their eyes. I'm mm -hmm. big on that. Even mm -hmm. when I'm in a relationship with a woman, I just bring her close to me and look at her eyes. 
Because mm-hmm. a woman will tell on herself by her eyes most of the time. And yeah, this woman, when I saw this earlier, I could tell she's already, something's off somewhere. I don't 100%. know how long it's been, but it's been for a while. Yeah. Oh, she, she's got some some damage. But see, yeah. this is the one that'll get you locked up, right? Like this is the this is the uh the bank teller that called uh that called the cops on um on uh the Black Panther. Yeah, cool, Ryan yeah. Coogler. Right? Crazy woman with a degree is dangerous. Let some black man come up and say hi to me, and I don't speak to him the way he wants me to speak to him, and he goes into the kitchen se- section and pulls out a butcher knife, right? I'm literally afraid <sighs> of them. I'm literally afraid with good reason. So I just started walking through like none of them were alive. I just started walking through like it was. It really is unbelievable that these ladies are able to say the types of things that they're saying and doing. Here, let's let this rock real quick. I don't want to get near none of them. I don't want to touch none of them. I don't want none of them to talk to me. Don't say nothing to me. If I saw one on an aisle, I went to the other aisle. Sisters, these men were bending over backwards turning flips you know marching with batons trying to get black women's attentions because all of us i realized we were all only making eye contact with each other the sisters complimenting each other oh your hair is so cute oh look at your baby we're talking to each other and we see one of them we just were like they was bento one duty one of them one of them but didn't she say she went to the black walmart if you go into the black walmart why would you go there knowing those men are going to be there and you were going to feel in danger because those men are there. Why not go to the quote unquote white Walmart where you can be safe and there are no black men or the minimal black men. And if one uh, rebel black man shows out, you know, a white man can come save you. Why not be there? You know that what? Make more sense? <clears throat> What's that? I think all this is cap. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. When I see these women today, all they do is take our arguments and turn it against us. Yeah. First of all, then you're not going to convince me that these men was chasing this woman around the store. Women have this idea that they're trying to prove something to us and the world. Honestly, like the Cynthia G followers, these women don't even have a problem with black men. They have a problem with white women. They don't like the the, the position that white women are in and they want us to succeed not because they care about us only so we can put them in that position of power and and, and, here's a, of, and i'm sorry to cut you off and, and i'm sorry to cut you off but here's the crazy part it's a perceived position it's not even the real position it's a perceived position, right? They think like white women don't work. They think that white women are this, that, or the other thing, but it's not even real. It's not even real. It's like they put, want to put put us put them in some position that doesn't even exist, that no woman ever gets in in the first place. So that's why they hold us to these ridiculous standards that it's like no man, the you, Anyway, let me let me just, uh, <laughs> this is crazy. He almost hit his ear on the floor trying to make eye contact with me. How you doing, sister? Oh, now that black male awakening is happening. Now all of a sudden, oh, we want to be nice and we want to speak to sisters and sisters just walk past us and don't say anything. Well, you know, we're damned if we do, damned if we don't. When we was speaking to you guys, y'all all like, oh, she won't me. And then when we now treating you like the leaders of genocide, homicide, filicide, femicide. Now right it sounds good right she she practices that in the mirror i bet i bet she practiced that never that never that never that never that like it's a like it's a like it's a rap she song. got a little ditty with it yeah right hold on let's and run that back to you guys y'all all like oh she wrote me and then when we now treating you like the leaders of genocide homicide filicide femicide oh wait what the leaders of what like the Leaders of genocide, homicide, filicide, femicide. What? The, the leaders of what? The leaders of genocide, homicide, filicide, femicide. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but but I'm trying to figure out something. Like, weren't they divesting before all this happened? So how is it now that they're actually ignoring it? So this is the first time they started ignoring us? What happened to the divestment they've been doing for the last few years? Did they take a pause and didn't tell us? 
Was that hiatus? I miss it? What happened? It's just, it's trendy to kick a black man right now. That's just what it is. It's trendy it, to kick. Yeah, the timeline is, is not adding up. It's looking like Marvel Universe over here. It's a lot of timelines. Yeah. I can't keep track of what's going on. No, no. It's just they like hearing themselves talk. And this is, but here's the thing, man. This is the message that they're spreading. They're saying it with their chest. You know, blatant mistruths and lies. And, and part of the reason why <clears throat> the dominant society has no problem seeing us get mistreated in the public is because our women don't even think very highly of us. And you got to start treating them like a different group, like they've already shown themselves to be to protect ourselves. I agree. I don't, I'm, I agree. I, I mean, I don't think any women are actually, unless it's like one of my mom, my mom or my sister, unless they watch it. I don't think there's any women watching this, but the, if any women actually see this, <laughs> Yo, <laughs> in the future, if any women actually see this, don't believe the hype is what I'll say. Yeah. And all of the other sides. Now, all of a sudden, now, now you want to get your act together and speak. But before you speak to me, go to counseling and also get your prostate checked. And if you're looking for a hospice care wife, you're going to die alone. So that was her. So that was her shot at shot at uh at ks saint kevin so so so, so, so wrench what do you what do you think man what do you think of that yeah bro man these <laughs> are <laughs> these are some sick individuals bro like i didn't realize and i think a lot of people didn't i didn't realize how sick a lot of them are until um i would say the way they celebrated kevin's death and then also the way they are doubling down even in the face of statistics, even in the face of all of these years of data, that we can go back and look and say, hey, this is where the problem is. All right, this is where the issue is, all right? And then you zoom in and you put the actual problem within your scope and everything else is a gray area and you're just focusing on the issue. Far too many of them, bro, they would do any and absolutely everything to be void of accountability. Now, I didn't realize, and I think a lot of brothers didn't realize how far they would go the sad part of the sad part about it is that just like a lot of us, bro, um, a lot of them are only gonna understand pain. And I'm not saying for us to actively go out and do nothing to assist us. That's I don't advocate for no shit like that at all. But what I'm saying is maybe it's a recession. Maybe it's I think Russia just shot off a missile that killed two Polish soldiers, two Polish soldiers. Maybe the maybe the world has to burn for for a minute in order for them to really see and understand like, oh shit, it's not a game. Cause right now it's still playing in the shade. You know what I mean? It's still playing where it's cool at. It's still a nice little breeze coming through. But once yeah. all that shit go away and you have no choice, there are no, the, the social programs are scarce. And, uh, and most of those uh, end up going to uh, poor white women. And a lot of them are out on the street and, and no men are choosing up on them. Then maybe it'll start registering. But I'm telling you, bro, it is a sad occurrence um, to be so goddamn hard-headed, man. It, the fact that we are even saying that it's an issue should 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 be sounding alarm for it should be sounding an alarm for a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, bro, I've never seen anything like it. I knew that, and y'all gotta forgive my wrinkled shirt, bro. I just left the gym and got out the shower, bro. Yo, but, this was this was good. don't don't even trip. You good, bro? We we just hanging out. You ain't got, ain't, ain't got but a couple us, of people watching us anyway. Hopefully, oh, yeah. when we get famous, we'll we'll you know we'll have Dude, to be on our P's and Q's. But it's just us, right? <laughs> yeah, man, man. I'm, I'm coming with my three piece when you you get all these years, <laughs> right? Right. We'll we'll work our way up to that. We'll 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 we'll, we'll, we'll make note of this day. We'll be like, yo, remember when we was wrinkled? Is <laughs> yeah, man, we was wrinkled, thick, smoking yep. squares on the on the on the right. lot. <laughs> yeah, right. It'll but, but go ahead. Sorry. But but it's but it's but it's it's, it's crazy though, man. I'm telling you, like. I realized that there was an issue years ago, but uh, I said it on another stream, man, it really registered to me when uh, I was at work one day, I was walking down the hall and there was two sisters in the hallway talking. I was like, oh, excuse me, sister. And both of them kind of gave me a funny look. I was like, fuck was that? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? And both yeah. and both of them did it. Now granted, yeah. I, make, I make way more than these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm like, the fuck? Yeah. But, I, but that's what made me start to dig a little bit deeper. And once I really start putting two and two together, I was like, oh, okay, all right, I, I, I bet. 
what they should be looking for if they were smart. If there are brothers out here trying to get your attention, they are not the brothers over here. The yeah. brothers that are trying to get your attention, man, they uh, they 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 still playing pussyfooting around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, when I go out, bro, in all honesty, for the first time in my life, bro, I used to I used to look and see if it's a sister in distress or if it's a sister that needs some off the top shelf at Walmart, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Now, bro, I, I butcher you. No, I don't even pay attention, bro. I don't even pay attention. I get in the elevator. I don't speak. Um, I'm gonna give you what you want. You know what I mean? I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you what you want. And I, but I, what what I will tell you, and I close with this. Yeah. What I will tell you is I've had more try to talk to me than I've talked to them. You know what I mean? I get a, a lift. I get in the lift, bro. I'm, put my earbuds in. Yeah. Really, I don't know this y'all in danger. I'm a threat. I'm a gamble with your life. Cause you know that it's a threat. It's a threat.